All right, this one's going to be on Flex Kids Movie Queue. It's uh, basically kind of like uh, Couch Potato, where you can set a movie in the future that you want to download on a specific criteria that you set up. Like, let's say I want a movie uh, and it's 720p or, you know, whatever it is, right? And uh, even though it doesn't exist on the torrent right now, in the future, once it is released on torrents or something like that, uh, it will automatically download it without you thinking about it because you already set it up to do that anyways that's what we're gonna do here so the first thing is make sure you have a uh, flex kit install I'll probably show you how to do that in, later on but um, let's go into the configurations here so in the configuration it should be in your what is that home folder uh, dot flex kit and config dot yml here right so this is the config file the only thing that you really need to be concerned about in here is this part here this is for the movie queue. Um, just a couple of lines here, so I'll explain these. So this one's um, the task here. This one is required by FlexKit's uh, configurations, and this one you just give it a name, whatever your name you want. So I call this one movie queue uh, release, and we want to use it. Uh, yes, quality here. This is up to you, right? Depending on um, you know whatever you download or I guess your bandwidth if you want to do that. Um, so right now I set it at a uh, either HD rip or higher, right? And this one is a less than or equal to 1080p. So you can look at this page here, this qualities here, and it'll tell you what it means. So basically we set it as uh, HD rip or higher, right? Then it will download any of these up here. Um, it will not download any of these down here because it, you know, it'd be cam or telesync or whatever it is, R5. So it'll skip those, right? Same thing with this one, uh, 1080p or lower, then it'll download all that. Um, if you want to change it around, some people would want like greater or equal to, uh, you know, 720p, then you can do that if you want, all right? Not that big of a deal. Here's just the, you know, the size that you want to start out with. So I don't want it to be, you know, an actual DVD rip uh, of an ISO or something like that. And I don't want like an ISO of Blu-rays. So I restricted between uh, you know 400 to uh, 2.8 gigs here, right? Uh, strict no downloads. Where you want to download to? Um, I usually down to my download folder, and from there you set your torrent client to watch that folder, and whenever the torrents, uh, the dot torrent file uh, downloads to there, your torrent clients will automatically download, right? And the next one here, this is verify. It's actually important because I tried it without this on some sites and it doesn't work or it doesn't download the .torrent file. Um, so this one will disable it by saying no verification, right? And as far as this RSS part here, this is, um, you know, put all the sites that you want to get movies from, um, just the RSS, right? Uh, the thing with this one is make sure you get the one that says verify because there's a lot of fakes on torrents too but uh usually when you search for torrents they have like a little logo next to it where it says uh, verify or sometimes you do it in advanced search it'll say verify uh torrents only uh, or sometimes they give you a link that says verify only right so that's what i recommend when you're doing um you know you find your rss link uh, make sure that it says verify that means you don't have no fakes um, so that's it for that part. Next thing is that uh, if you never use like um, Flexit before, make sure you know you don't use tabs. You use spaces. So these two spaces, two spaces, two spaces. So no tabs ever, just spaces, all right? Um, and as far as the version I'm using, I'm using um, what was that one dot one dot one twenty eight and the reason why I'm giving you the version is that sometimes when you update your configuration files are not always the same or you have to like go look at the changes so if you want to use the version I'm using this is how you would install it just do a sudo pip2 install flex git and then equals and then the version I'm using here right uh, it really doesn't matter because flex git all it does is scans the RSS and looks at your configuration files and I'll download the torrent or use net file or whatever it is that you set up to do but right now we're doing torrents right anyways that's it that's all you got to do and once you're done you save that sucker 
Uh, you also want to check it if it's right. So you do flex git check, and I'll check if your configuration is. Uh, I wouldn't say correct, but I'll say it's like syntax. Uh, you know, correct. Uh, everything else you want to probably check yourself, All right? But this one will check if the syntax is correct, or you did something wrong, or you use tabs instead of spaces, or whatever. That's what we'll do when you check it. Uh, so when it's passed, that means you're good to go, I guess. Uh, next thing is you probably want to set this to a cron tab so you can actually. What is it? Where is my flex kit? There you go. This is the one. So this one right here, I set it to hourly. So I do flex get hourly, uh, you know, to execute the uh, flex get. And then we do a cron because we don't want no log files. So that's what the dash dash cron does. And that's what you set, or that's what I set uh, hourly for flex get. So I'll do that if you never used flex it before. Next thing is uh, how to add to your movie queue or delete from it, depending on what it is. So we'll get a movie that's not released yet or something. All right, and we'll check out what what's this here. Um, what movie is this? Okay, let's say this fucking horror movie. It says It Follows, we'll call that thing, and it's this one's uh, 2015. Okay, whatever. And we're gonna do flex get uh, movie queue. This is how you would add uh, it to your queue here, it's real simple. So we just put that as the movie, and uh, you know, sometimes you can actually put the it was a 720p um, quality here if you want, but we already set that in our configuration, so we don't have to actually do that. Although that is an option too if you want to do that, all right. But we're just going to put the movie title only, and we'll see what it gets here from IMDb lookup. So it adds the movie, and this movie is, uh, what is that? it follows, and it says uh, 2015, so that is the correct one. If it's the wrong one, you can just, you know, delete it and get another one. Um, but that's the movie, and we can actually check our uh, queue by doing almost the same thing here. Actually, let me give you the help page here. Just do a flex hit movie queue and a dash H. And the one that we did was add, you can actually do delete and forget and clear, but now we're gonna list it out here. Okay, we're gonna do list. And basically this will list out uh, whatever you've added to the wait list. So I added these movies earlier on, but the ones that we just added was this one here, right? And I tell you your ID, your IMDB ID here. This is another ID and this is a title. And the quality, right now the quality is any but um, you know we already set the quality in our configuration file so that's why it doesn't really matter um, when we're doing this uh, next thing is there actually is a subcategory for your help page for the list command so this is another um, you know help page for that so they do have waiting and download so usually this is what I would do All right show you here list we do waiting and, and I want to see both lists. That's why I would usually do this. And go downloaded. And the top part here, this is our waiting list. And you know, once it finds like, okay, uh, that movie is already in the torrents, then once it uh, fits our criteria, it'll move it down here. And these are the ones that we've already downloaded, right? So that's how that works, and that's how you will keep up. If you already uh, got that on your system or not, um, if you ever want to remove something, pretty simple too. What did we do before? This one, just type in delete or just del. I mean, and then uh, the tag. So uh, I mean the ID, not the tag. The ID of it. So let's say this one here, right? Just copy the ID, paste the sucker in here, and I'll delete it from our list. All right. So this one is uh, removed. Uh, you can actually do that again. See here. And now that movie is gone. We don't have that anymore. Right. So pretty simple. You know, you have um, your flex get set up to do pretty much what the couch potato does. Not as user friendly, but um, pretty easy just from the command line. If you're a command line user or you've ever uh, edited some configuration files before, 
not going to be that hard. Anywho, um, that's pretty much it. You know, you can get more help on it. Uh, this is the quality page. I'll post this in the description. They also have uh, the page for uh, the movie queue if you want to look up on that. Uh, they do tell you you can add, um, you know, the quality, like I said before, if you want to do that. Or you can add by uh, just having the ID. You can go to IMDb and look at that, you know, ID if you want. Um, pretty much it. And as far as like different versions, because every day uh, Flexi has a new version. So you want to get the help page that actually matches your version. So you can actually go to that, you know, plugin here. Let's say this plugin movie here. And you can go in history and you can go back to, you know, wherever it was. So the one I'm using was 19. That's like 13 months ago. And that's the one I've been using. Anywho, uh, that's movie queue in a nutshell. Basically, it's just, you know, add the movies that you want to watch, but it's not released yet. And it will automatically download for you uh, either via your torrents or if you're doing some other ones like uh, Usenet, you can do that. Even cyber lockers, they can do that too, like rapid share links. Anyway, uh, that's one's just for torrents that I give you an example of. That'll be it for this one. Everything else will be in the description, all right?